In this video, we're going to learn number value function. This function convert a text to a number using decimal and group separator we specify. Okay, let's have a look at the formula. The first argument is text. This is a text that we want to convert it to a number value. Next argument is optional, decimal separator. This argument specify which character in the text is a decimal point, is a decimal separator actually. Next one is also optional, is group separator that specifies which character in the text is a group separator. And finally, it returns a number value with the correct separators that is detectable for the system and we can calculate it in the system. Okay, let's try the uh, first one. The decimal separator here is a point, a dot, that is detectable for the system, depends on our options in the counter panel so we don't need use uh, decimal or decimal separator and we don't have group separator here so we don't need group separator neither only the text argument is enough here let's try it number value the text is in uh, f3 and go just remember here or a string is a text you can find its format here in the uh, number part, it is text. But we, when we click on the result, it is number. So its format has been changed. Next one, we have group separator and also decimal separator. But the decimal separator here is a slash that is undetectable for the system. And we want to change it to a point so, the, so it is detectable for the system and we can cal calculate it in a system. Let's try it. Number value F4 or decimal separator here is a slash. We put it uh, into double quotations and done. You see the slash converted to a point and there is no separator here because it is a number. Next one is completely different. We have exclamation marks representing group separator and question mark representing decimal separator so we need to change it to a number to a correct number format let's try it number value and then it's f5 or decimal separator in the main text is question mark we put it here and then our group separator is exclamation mark so we put it here and done we have the correct number here and it can be calculated in the system next one is a percentage so we don't need the decimal or group separator here only the text number value f6 and done and you know actually 10% represent 0.1 as a number value. Next one, there is a double percentage mark. And let's see what happens. Number value, F7, and done. In the last situation, we had two decimal separators that, of course, it's not correct. We cannot have two decimal separator in a number string it is not correct so what happens if we want to use a number value on this text number value uh, it is f8 and our uh, decimal separator here is slash and done you see we have value error here because we cannot have more than one decimal point in a number string so if we just remove last slash it is done only the first decimal separator in a number string is correct and it is enough in order to watch more training videos please subscribe to our youtube channel diaco otd and if you want to see our products please visit our website diaco.co.uk